All right, we're probably gonna get started here. We're gonna be playing glitched worlds, which are basically just forcing the world counter to go higher than eight. Anywhere from nine to 255 and zero. Just not the regular one to eight worlds. And last time we got up to world like 41 or something, I think. So today we'll go beyond that. Um, we have some game genie codes that let us pick the worlds that we're gonna go to and also some other game genie codes. In case we get stuck and the world's kind of not in a place that will let us progress, we have some others to let us go through walls and stuff. Go through all the letters, we start getting some weird symbols. Exclamation point, and here we are. Mushroom platform. Let's do it. All right, <laughs> immediately we get something that was super common last time, and that was a bunch of 3-3. I can't remember the exact pattern, but I think this ended up turning into like, it was usually like a bunch of 3-3, and then it took us to like 8-3 or something afterwards. Wow, that was quick. We already made it to 8-3. I didn't have to play 3-3 like 20 times. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Dang it, dude. Now I have to run back there. We might get a little sick of 8-3 and 3-3 and stuff. The screen keeps scrolling past the castle because I have that go through walls code on. See, like that. And um, Mario is supposed to, he runs into a solid block in the castle and that's what stops him from walking past it. But since I go through walls, he just walks through it. You can see the exact moment he's supposed to stop on the block. It's when the timer starts right there. That's also why when you do bullet bug glitch, it puts Mario behind the tree at the, by the flagpole in 8-2 because the timer has started counting down. Okay, this is the end of the line, boys. Let's try the next one. So that was World Mush. We got a big fat rainbow split, it, mostly because we started the timer late, but <laughs> that was World Mush. Now time for World Room. <laughs> the color palette of it changing up at the top was pretty funny. Uh, it looks like we got 7-4, so we'll only get to play one level this time. Because as soon as you beat any castle level, it just thinks the game's done. It's like, whoa, you beat world 43? That's way higher than 7, so you must have beaten the game. Maybe world coin. Oh, do we get to watch more than one cutscene? Nah, dang. Sometimes it loops <laughs> for a seemingly random number of times. Hey guys, it's the Minus World. Except it's Coin World. Here's some pretty short worlds. We're done with Mushroom Coin. See how poll goes. Oh, one cutscene? Maybe more? No. Wow, the blue, the blue flagpole up at the top looks cool. But unfortunately, this is just the same thing again. The moment of truth. Ooh, a hill. Hill dash one. One dash one. And there's piranha plants, where there's normally not. You know there's actually supposed to be piranha plants in every pipe in the game? If there's ever not a piranha plant in a pipe, it means that it despawned or you're in 1-1. Because 1-1 is specifically programmed to not have piranha plants come out of the pipes, just to make it easier. But because we're actually in world like 46-1 or something, there are piranha plants. Oh, and going in the pipe. Oh, that's not even what I was thinking of. I was thinking about going in the pipe in 1-1 in speedruns. With the plant there would be weird. Maybe we could have a despawn strat. But speaking of, if we go in the pipe, this is this is the end of the line, guys. Wow, that was pretty sick. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, we can't progress past here. Rip. So that's that for Hill Dash 2. Ooh, here comes the here comes the two dash ones. All right, well, I said 2-1 wasn't very prominent before. Maybe this is the beginning. The beginning of many, many 2-1s. 
right side of the top of a hill dash a the world <laughs> the world that everyone has always wanted to play wow nice midway point just like two seconds into the level where will this take me actually will this take me back to where the midway point was because if so that's a weird place for a vine to grow okay it took me back to the beginning and boop <laughs> Yay. There's just a vine behind there. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Oh, here we go! Multiple cutscenes! The moment you've all been waiting for. Okay, three. New cutscene PB. Three in a row. That, that's gotta be close to the highest level count we've seen so far. So, let's keep track of that PB as well. Oh, well, that's the end of the line. Dang, dude. <laughs> Just suddenly dead coin heaven. Rip. Now we get right side of the rest of the hill. Dash one. Woo, four one, let's go. Yo, what kind of level? We already knew, kind of based on the color palette of the, the hill thing, what kind of level it was going to be. If it gives it to me again, I'll try the no slowdown version. That one's pretty tough though. Yo, here we go. I did it, but we still have to do this. Nice. Okay, well, <laughs> that, that pipe jump we didn't quite do right both times, but the earlier part, no slowdown, is pretty crazy. Well, that's a rip. Dang, this looks like it would have been so fun to play. Anytime you spawn, like, above the screen, it doesn't let you move. It's like waiting forever for Mario to fall down. What's next? What is that? <laughs> I didn't know if he was gonna die or not. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Wait, are these what I think they are? What, what even is that world? It's maybe another part of a mushroom platform, but it looks super weird. I don't really recognize it. Oh, maybe it's the, oh, I think it's the uh, center of a hill. Look on the title screen. Yeah, you see, you see the spots on the hill? That's what it is. Let's go. And another short one. Underwater 3-4. Yeah, yeah, another castle and all that jazz. Whoa, ooh, this is a fun one. Who even knows what this is all about? <laughs> okay, definitely subverted expectations. Let's go past it and see what's over here. <laughs> the flag was so close to the beginning. A coin? Okay. It's a little bit repetitive, but like, there's some variety, apparently. A piranha plant? Another flagpole? More than one flagpole in one stage? How is this possible? not gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> um. Let's see if we grab it at different places. If what happens? Hmm. Does this flagpole ever work? Let's find out. 
It works if you grab it down there. Is it just because it's like next to... Oh, I'm getting shoved into the wall when I grab the flag. That's what's happening. I see. I didn't, I'm not sure if I knew exactly that mechanic, but okay. And dead. Okay, so we gotta go to flagpole number two, and then that one should be good. Here we go. Oh wait, we actually need him. Okay, bottom of the middle of a cloud, dash one. That didn't take long to get to the end. Shortest world, fitting that it's in the clouds. Bottom of the right side of a cloud, kind of. Ooh, 4-3, but underwater. Very FDS minus world-esque. I thought something like that was about to happen. I. Whenever you get a situation like this, a lot of times you just die to like invisible things. Yeah, Eepster, I think there's a ROM hack I can get that lets me do that. It's like Pelson, where it lets you start on whatever level you want, but like... All right, well, I guess I have a code on, but even if I didn't, this, <laughs> this clip would work. The boost. Let's go. <laughs> Please don't soft lock, okay. <laughs> There's a hammer, bro. Don't kill me, dude. I think hammers can maybe kill you after the flagpole. Yo, underwater 1-1 one, one with Bowser. Dang, that's a pretty quick difficulty spike in the game. Oh, we can maybe make him screen wrap. Or page wrap, I guess. There he goes. Give him a minute, he'll be back. I have no idea what this platform's doing, by the way. I found this. This is one of the few things I found. The Bowser page wrap glitch. This is a fun world. We got floating piranha plants. We got Bowser's spawning all over. We got a fire bar. This is a really fun thing to point out. Um, why are these different? Like, these are both staircases, why are they different? And that's because in the game, there's actually two different tiles that look exactly the same, um, at least on these levels. There's tiles that are stairs, and then tiles that are walls. So the one on the left is stairs, but the one on the right is wall. And it, normally they're the same on an overworld color palette, but you come to a different color palette and you can see that they're different tiles. So that's pretty funny, huh? Look, look how silly this looks right here. What's up, Hammer Brew? Is there an invisible piranha? No. There's up there! <laughs> Good thing that fire bar's not lower or I would die. Okay. Oh. One, eight one isn't nearly as exciting as the last two levels were. Wow. This is so interesting, and yet I can't. <laughs> he killed me during a cutscene. This is a cutscene. Oh no, dude. Oh, what a bad pattern. Dang it, now I have to get back here to see if we can watch him go longer. Okay, here's our plan. I'm gonna make a save state right here so that we can get a bunch of different Bowser patterns um, until we make it past Bowser's hammers. So even if we don't get past here, we'll keep trying. Once we get past, we'll celebrate with some music. All right, that was easy. Oh, here he goes. He did a page wrap. <laughs> Okay, we made it. Let's go.
Wow. I wish I got to play this level, but I just don't. Oh man, underwater 2-4 and or 5-4. Not gonna be a very long one. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, black box dash one. Let's go. This is like part of a bullet bill launcher maybe. Wow, perfectly fitting thing for Black Box Dash 1. It it delivered exactly what it advertised. <laughs> Insane. All right, well, we're gonna get Lava Pit Dash 1 now. And or Water Pit. But Mario can, Mario can swim in water, right? So whenever you see the, the water in like uh, 3-1, for example, not actually water, it is blue lava. Otherwise he could swim in it. That's just how it works. Bullet bill glitch. Okay, so right here, ooh, it's nice that in um, blue lava dash two, we got some nice blue lava down here. So that's good. This is overworld palette, oh gosh. I guess I can go up here. Overworld palette 5-4. Looks kind of cool. I like the blooper colors. But this is unfortunately the end of the line. This music is so unfitting <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh gosh. Ooh, now we got the actual top left of the Super Mario Bros. logo. And we got Underwater 1-1 one, one to go with it. Does that mean? Does that mean what I think it means? Does that mean we'll get 8-1 and then we'll get weird cutscene level again? So I'm guessing we go to 8-1. No. Underwater 8-2? Wow. Why are half of these stairs stairs and the other half is wall? Just because that pit is there? It's so weird. I'm guessing this isn't possible underwater. Yeah, I don't think I can do the screen wrap. But okay, cool. We have a glitchy underwater, ooh, underwater spring. Wee! <laughs> I figured I could get something like that to happen. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> There's a potaboo! That's crazy. This is fun. <laughs> That's a lot of Koopas. There's flying cheep cheeps. The game crashed. Look on the left side. I just scored like a billion points. What object loads right there that just absolutely breaks the game? What? It's a firework or something? It's like one one part of a spiny rotated four ways. Just don't crash. Yo, we didn't crash? And I crash? <laughs> Actually? Mushrooms? Huge fire bar. Oh my gosh, final boss, dude. Don't die. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is not um, going to be the, um, oh no. Dude, I have to finish the level with very low time. Oh, well that was a convenient place to respawn me. <laughs> okay, we have to wait for <laughs> We have to wait for the time to count down. <laughs> it's not like a personal thing. Okay. This should work. Okay, there we go, cool. 
Level transition before the fire barn. Okay, we've seen a glitchy version of this level before, but this one's different. Oh, this is probably this is probably exactly the same as the other one, but because I have that code on, it's different. All right, cutscene level. Yep. And he can probably go forever because we have this code on. Oh boy. Where's the boost, man? It's different. Let's see how far this goes, I guess. <laughs> Yo, take me up, please. Another one. Ah. Oh. Dang it, dude. Yo, take me up. Dang it. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Don't take me down. Don't take me down. Okay. Please clear this. Bowser, jump, dude. Oh. No. Because we don't have the boost, we'll never get over that gap. But I think Bowser was going to kill us no matter what anyway. Unless we got a super good pattern and he jumped over. But, dang. Okay, Brick Block Dash 1. Ooh, Underwater 6-3. Interesting. Whee! How many worlds are there? 256. What was that? Did you guys see that super glitchy Paracoupa something or other? <laughs> that was a terrifying creature. <gasps> this is a cutscene. Play. Well, we're gonna move on from this. Okay, other part of Brick Block Dash 1. Let's go underwater cutscene? Can I get another one? There's so many enemies. Ah. Uh, game crashed. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, okay, we just get to play this now. <laughs> okay, I just wanna point out. Look at the, the X. This doesn't make any sense. Why did they leave the right side of the X transparent? And now I think we go to the underwater section and it's the end, or no, now we go to the coin heaven and just die immediately, I think. Lame, super lame ending. We'll go to a tried and true classic to finish things out. Let's go.
there was some interesting ones. It gets a little repetitive, but we did find some pretty new and interesting stuff. And I did like some of the really weird like cutscene stuff we discovered and messed around with some good stuff. So, woo!